guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name's Crystal. Um, I just want to share with you some diamond painting. So recently, last March, I was diagnosed with skin cancer, and more recently, I've been for an operation. So I'm off work for the foreseeable future at present. So I wanted something to do to, other than house cleaner and to keep me occupied and busy. So I managed to stumble across the diamond painting. So in my videos, I'm going to show you what you get in the kits and um, how to apply the diamonds. So we're going to go off now and I'm going to show you um, what comes with this, with the canvas. So you guys, now I'm going to show you the kit and this is what you get. So we'll start with the canvas. I specifically chose this picture because I thought it was going to look awesome when it's done. So again, I've got it on an easel. This is a tabletop easel now that I've got it on. Um, and I've attached it with two pegs. Uh, you really do need to have something behind it because when you put in pressure on the canvas, it's better to have something substantial. So I've just used a normal canvas that you could buy from any high street shop. Um, I literally just had it lying around and I'm quite happy with that. I know I'll be able to get to work on it. So on the canvas, you have a sticky back plastic layer. Now this protects the sticky that is on the picture. And you need to look after this. So I would suggest only pulling back an area that you're working on because any lint or dust is gonna make it unsticky and this is vital absolutely vital so always make sure that you replace your sticky um i will show you a close-up but each individual square has got a color code so it's all coded for the colors and you have a color code down this side and you also have the same color code they they are the same color codes there's no difference you'll have a small pitch down here to show you the area of the diamond painting now this specific one is the whole area every single square in the whole area so it's probably going to take me about a week to complete but I'm so excited about doing it so that's the canvas and that's how I'm going to be uh, working on it so now I'm going to take you and show you the actual kit so guys, these are the diamonds. These are what you're going to be potentially painting with. It is called Diamond Painter. These are made with epoxy resin and they are 2.3 millimeter um, in diameter. They're quite tiny, they can be quite fiddly. They're all numbered, so whatever you do, do not cross, do not cut across the numbers. Try and just cut the side or straight across the top. You also receive a tray. This is made of quite thin plastic, but it's actually quite a cool piece of equipment. And you also get a funny looking pan. It's got a funny end on it. And it is literally just made of plastic. It's, it's quite an ingenious invention. You also get what we call wax. Some people call it mud, but it's most commonly known as wax, and there is quite a waxy texture to it. This will become clear shortly. You also get some resealable bags. Now, these are a godsend, really, because once you open a packet of diamonds, as you can see, you can't reseal it. Once it's open, it's open. So the resealable bags are brilliant. So I am now going to transfer these open packet of diamonds into this resealable bag. I just want to show you a couple of things that I've added that you don't get in the kit, but I think it'll be quite helpful. Now, obviously, a pair of scissors to be able to cut open the packets is essential. Uh, a pair of tweezers. Um, now, I'm hoping these will help in the sense of when I stick the diamonds, if it's not quite central to the um, square or the circle, then I can readjust them with the tweezers. If I don't use them, I don't use them. Um, I've also researched that um, a cocktail stick is good for clearing out the end of the pen. Again, this will become clear shortly. 
and obviously if you've got some resealable bags and you've got your packet of diamonds how are you going to know what number they are so i've got a sharpie just to write the number on the bag so i know what number that is and that's it for my kit guys at the moment on the guide we'll do another video shortly hopefully starting the painting and i'll show you how to apply the diamonds